Hey guys, welcome back to my vanity. If you're new here, we're glad to have you. Um, if you can tell by today's title, I'm going to be using all 34 of my eyeshadow palettes on my face. Whether that be for eyeshadow, bronzer, highlight, to fill in my eyebrows, etc. So if you want to see how this turns out, um, keep on watching. Don't call me when your man around, only when your friend is down. I'm just trying to pull your panties down, bitch you know I ain't playing around. Don't call me when your man around, only when your friend is down. I'm just trying to pull your panties down, bitch you know I ain't playing around. Tryna be your main nigga, I can be your side nigga Slide up in them thousand nigga, look up in the sky with you A different connection, I'm just tryna multiply with you Top off of my coupe, I'm just tryna go and ride with you I ain't playing no games with you, tell me what you want okay, so I went ahead and went in with the Photo Finish by Smashbox Smooth and Blur Primer I have just a little mini travel size I went ahead and put that in my T-zone And now, um, I pretty much organized my palettes So that way all the neutral shades are on my right side all of the more colorful eyeshadow palettes are on my left side. Um, so I think we're going to start off with the brows. Okay, so I have really dark brows, as you can tell. They're pretty much black. So I think what I'm going to do is... I think first I'm going to take this Tartlet Tease palette. It's just the mini. And I think I'm going to take this brown shade right here I think I'm gonna use that to start my brows um if you saw Nikki tutorials did a video like this um so shout out to her because that's where I got this video idea from obviously I don't have as many eyeshadow palettes as she does Thank God, because I wouldn't know what to do. Um, but I haven't really decided yet, because if you watch her video, she did two different eye looks. She did like a, a more cool tone and a more warm tone, I believe. Um, so she did two different eye looks. I haven't really debated yet on if I want to do that or if I want to try to do the same eye look. Plus, she had like a hundred something eyeshadow palettes. I only have 34. I do want to say that I don't usually use powders at all on my brows. You know, I like pomade just because my eyebrows are so dark. Like, I feel like powders and pencils just don't cover it good enough. Like, you could still see where I'm filling it in at. I do also feel like... This brown is a little bit on the warm side, but it's okay. We can always add another shadow. Okay, so I went in and put the shadow on my brows. Now I'm gonna go in with the Billion Dollar Brow Brow Gel. I'm just gonna put this through my brows real quick so my hairs aren't flying everywhere. This is a clear brow gel. Y'all know my eyebrows are dark. I don't need to add any more color to them. So I think for now, I'm just going to leave the brows how they are. If I feel like I need to go back in and fill them in some more or darken them up, I'll definitely go in with another brown shade in one of the other palettes. So right now, I think I'm going to go ahead and carve my brows out with my concealer. And today, I think we're going to go in with the e.l.f. 16-hour camel concealer. And this is in the shade medium sand. I'm just gonna carve my brows out and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and carved the brows and this one needs to be filled in a little bit more. Um, you can't really tell on camera, but I'll probably go in with another brown shade and fix that brow. But now we're gonna go into foundation. This is the Infallible, oh, it's 24 hour fresh wear. Um, this is in the shade 485, it looks like this. I freaking love this foundation and it's from the drugstore. I might be a little bit more tan because I have been staying out the sun. I'm definitely not the type that's like, oh my god, it's summer, let's go out in the sun and get tan. I'm the total opposite because I tan so easily and plus my hair is so light. I already have dark eyebrows, like I don't want my skin to be 
too dark to where my hair looks crazy. And I've honestly just never liked being tan. Like the color that I am now, I'm perfectly fine with. I don't want to be any darker. Okay, so foundation is on. If you watch some of my other videos, then you know that usually I would put a foundation down my neck and on my chest just so everything blends. But I'm not going anywhere, so I don't really want to waste my foundation, especially because this is a foundation I really like. So I'm just going to go back in with my e.l.f. concealer, and I'm just going to put this all on my T-zone. You guys know the drill. Okay, so now that my face is all concealed, I need to go in and set everything down. So usually I would go in with a setting powder, but today I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions Palette. And I'm going to take this cream shade right here and I'm going to use it to set under my eyes and all my T-zone where I just put concealer. And hopefully this doesn't completely ruin my makeup. And if it does, it's fine. It's just a video. I feel like it made my under eye dark a little bit darker than what it was so it took that brightness away but it's fine i think i've actually never even used um this palette before so got some use out of her so this is what the face is looking like so far and guys i'm literally just winging this i have no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a colorful eye and then on the other I'm gonna do more smoky like black and brown neutral shades. So we'll see. Okay so next for bronzer I think I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I don't know if it's cheating if I use two shades in one palette. I don't think it is because I'm still using every palette but I think I'm gonna mix this brown and it's kind of like a yellowy and this brown is kind of like a red so if I mix the two it might work if it doesn't then too bad there's no going back okay so I'm just mixing the two oh I'm so scared okay it's not bad I might have went a little heavy but it's fine so I'm just going to put some on the forehead. So this is what it's looking like. I want it a little too heavy handed on this side. So I'm going to go back in with that Huda shade that I used to set my powder. And I'm just using my Beauty Blender. I'm putting it in there. Hopefully this works. And usually I like carve out my bronzer if I go a little too much. like so I'll leave it on for a little bit and then I'll just wipe it off so that's what we're looking like gonna let that sit so now I'm trying to debate on if I want to use that same shade for my nose contour or go ahead and move on to something else okay so I think I'm gonna take this Jaclyn Hill the vault collection this is um the green the green one the shades it's not blind y'all this is what the shades look like i think i'm gonna go into these two browns here at the bottom and i'm gonna mix those two to do my nose contour i'm gonna go in very light-handed because these shades look kind of dark one of them's a more cool tone one of them's more warm tone i'm just barely pressing in and that might have just totally ruined it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this brush and try to like blend it out. Okay, so my nose contour came out a little bit messy. So I'm pretty much going to do the same thing that I did with my bronzer on my cheeks. Take this shade and place it on the edge of the bronzer that I just did. And in the middle to brighten up the middle again. And I think we can go ahead and wipe this off our cheeks. It's my chair making all that noise. It left a line underneath. Because it's an eyeshadow, not a powder. <laughs> Love that. If I just rub it in, maybe. 
honestly, if you saw my nose in person right now, I just totally messed it up. But it's like, mm mm. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm just gonna blend. So my face is a little dry, so I'm gonna go in with the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray. This is the Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea. I usually use only use this for like my skincare routine, but since it's up here, I'm just gonna use it. So now we gotta find a highlighter. I think I'm gonna go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. And I'm gonna take this shade Pearl right here. It's like a shimmery champagne color. I think we're gonna use this for highlighter today. Oh, she's bright. I feel like this shade might have been a little too light for me because I feel like it in person, it is leaving a little like white cast on my face, but it's fine. What is done is done and we must move on. I still haven't even fixed this other eyebrow. <laughs> Okay, so this is the face all done. You guys know I don't wear blush. Now we move on to the eyes. Ooh, I'm excited and nervous. So I feel like to get the easy stuff out of the way, I should do the smoky eye first on this side. So I'm gonna go for like a black smoky eye. I'm gonna take the Morphe 3502 palette. This is what she looks like. And I'm gonna take this black shade right here and put that all over my lid. Just kind of pack it on there. Okay, so this is what this eye looks like. If we need to go back in with a black shade, I'm sure we can find one in one of the other palettes. So now I'm gonna take the Naked Urban Decay Basics, the little mini, and I'm gonna go in with this brown shade we have right here and buff that in my crease. This is the shade Faint, by the way. And just go back and forth. It's gonna look really harsh at first because the black is kind of difficult to blend. Okay, so this is what the smoky eye is looking like so far. So now we're gonna go in with the Morphe 35O palette. What it looks like inside. And I think I'm gonna go in with this light brown shade just to smoke it out even further so this is what the eye look is like now i kind of want to brighten up the inner corner so i did this look for during halloween i think i'm gonna kind of recreate that um so i'm gonna go in with the anastasia beverly hills prison palette and i'm gonna go in with the shade sphere which is like this neon neon green yellow shade and i'm gonna put that in my inner corner okay, so that's what this eye is looking like i kind of want it to be a little bit more shimmery i wanted to save this for the colorful side but i think we're gonna go ahead and use it now and i'm gonna go in with this shade slime it's like a lime green glitter and i'm gonna put that in my inner corner on top of that other shade that we laid down just so it's a little bit more glittery Okay, so now I'm gonna go in on the bottom and I was gonna just do a black, but I kinda like this Berry Treasure. It's like a, this is the Jaclyn, um, the Volt Collection, the purple one. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with this deep purple and it has like shimmer to it. I think I'm gonna put that on my waterline. On the bottom I feel like it almost looks like it's black but I guess that'll do I kind of want to add this on my lid too I just took the smoky eye to another level because now it's like shimmery this is what the eyes look like on this side they were gonna go ahead and move on to the other eye if I start running out of shadows I'll just start placing them randomly um, so on the left side, I now want to do some crazy colors for sure. So I think I'm going to go in with the Thirsty palette by Jeffree Star. And I'm going to take this neon orange, neon orange shade, which is in the shade B-I-T-C-H, 
with an exclamation point. This is a family friendly channel. I'm just going to put that in my crease, like kind of stamp it in my crease. And then hopefully we find the shade we could use to blend it out in this portion of my crease. So now I'm gonna go in the James Charles palette and I'm gonna take this neon pink shade and I'm just gonna stamp that right next to the orange shade that we just laid down. Okay guys, we're running through these palettes. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with the Alyssa Edwards by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one has a lot of colorful shades I like. I think I'm gonna go in with this nude shade. Which is kind of a waste because this palette is so has so many pretty colors. But I think I'm gonna go in with this nude shade right here because that will be a good shade to blend out that first orange peachy shade that we put down. I feel like that shade is not coming off, showing up on the eye like it is in the swatch. So I'm gonna go in with this Festivals by Judy's palette and they have an orange shade in here. This one right here. And I'm about to place that where I just covered up that orange, just to bring it back. Cause we kind of lost it a little bit. I feel like this side is turning out to be a hot mess. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I really wanted this to go well. So I still have my fingers crossed. Okay, so thank goodness we still have the Riviera palette by Anastasia that also has some pretty shades up in here. So now we're back to a pretty purple shade. So I'm gonna take that purple and put it next to, next to that pink. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far, a hot mess. Now I'm gonna go in with my Norvina by Anastasia palette. And this shade has, I thought I had way more purples than this. I guess we're gonna take this Soul shade right here and try and use that to buff out this purple that we just did. I feel like this ain't gonna work good because these are two different purples. Okay, so that was like a purpley blue and I don't know how, but somehow I managed to make it work. So this is what the purple side, the purple is looking like. Now I just need to blend in that pink and find a pink shade. And what do you know, we still have the modern renaissance only pink in here that we could maybe use is this dusty pink shade. Bruno Fresco shade right here. But I'm kind of scared that it might make the pink um, disappear. But we might have no other choice. Oh, the brush has purple on it. Love that for me. That brush had purple on it. So this isn't cheating, but I'm going to go back in with that pink shade and put it on my lid. This isn't cheating guys, okay? I didn't know my brush was gonna have purple on it. So that just like totally messed up all that. So I have this, the Try by Juvia's palette and they have these green shades. I think I'm gonna go in with this neon yellowy color, Masai, Mas Masai, and I'm gonna put this on the inner corner on this side because I feel like we're kind of losing it. Okay, we got some more colors here. Um, I really like this aqua blue shade here. So I think I'm gonna use that on the outside half of my lid. I think I want to cut my crease, the first half of my crease. Half cut crease. So I'm taking my NARS uh, pomade in the shade Macadamia and this wet and wild brush. I'm just gonna cut out half of this. I kind of want to go in with like a yellowy shade. Do we have that? I don't know. Okay, so that turquoise shade we put down kind of matches 
this green shade here, kind of not really. This is the I Love Set of Heat X Dose of Colors palette. And I'm just going to take that green and I think I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to put my finger in it. And put that on top of there. Cute. Cute. Wow, there was such a good orange shade here that I could have used to blend this out instead of the other shade that I went in with. <laughs> Love that. I really want to go in with like a pretty yellow but I ain't seeing one anywhere. I think we already passed that, passed that up. Okay, so we still have this Take Me Back to Brazil palette. So I think I'm gonna take the yellow that's in here and I'm gonna put that all over the rest of my lid. Patting this down. I do wanna say that these the shadows in this palette are kind of chalky, but it's fine. And that's what this eye is looking like. I feel like it would be so much cuter if I would have like actually sat down and did it. Now this eye kind of matches my top because of the yellow. Okay. So guys, we still have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 more palettes to go <laughs> and I've already been filming for an hour and six minutes so this footage is gonna be fun to edit fun let's use that word okay we're gonna go on with this Dominique Cosmetics um, eyeshadow palette this is like a pastel I don't know what the shades are called but this is what it looks like I'm gonna go in with the shade cuddle and it's kind of like a pink and I'm just gonna put this above that pink shade so we can make it look a little bit more pink instead of purple and that might have honestly made it more purple yeah I think so but we did something with it so moving on Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this Naked Smoky palette. And I'm just gonna take the first shade here. And I'm just putting that um, on my brow bone. On this side, on the smoky side. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go in with this Subculture. And there's a shade in here, Electric, which is this shade. It's kind of like a yellow tone. Do I wanna put this on my lid? Or do I wanna put this in my inner corner? Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to put this on my inner corner instead. I lied. Cute. Okay. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill. This is the blue vault. And I'm going to take this black here. <laughs> yeah, I'm really just trying to get rid of these. I'm just going to put this under my eye to make it more black. I starting to look like it's not even blended, but okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this Nomad Nomade palette and I'm gonna go in with this black shimmer shade. We're gonna bring that black shimmer back since I have went in with a black that um was matte. Okay. My phone already had stopped recording because I'm running out of storage, so I need to get to it. It's going to be a lot of editing. Um, so I think for the lower lash line, I decided to... I haven't decided, I'm lying. Um, I think I'm just going to go in with red because I see a lot of these palettes have a red tone. Yeah, a lot of them have red. So I'm gonna go in with this Huda Desert Dust Palette and I'm gonna take this dark red shade here. Definitely probably gonna ruin the look, but it's fine. If y'all wanna see a um, tutorial of how I did this eyeshadow, but like me actually sitting down and making it look good, then definitely comment down below. 
and I definitely won't use red. My chair is making a lot of noise today, so I apologize if you can hear that. So now I'm going to go in with the Carly by Bell. And there's a, another red shade in here. This is the Steve. I'm going to go into that red. And just further make this red. Make this more red. And then I'm going to take this Anastasia, the Jackie Ina palette. And there's this purple in here called Big Wig. And I'm just going to take that and put it on the purple that we have on this eye. Because we're kind of losing it. I have this shimmer. I think I'm going to take the champagne color. And I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone on this side. Okay, so my phone keeps saying I ran out of storage and it's about to die. So I'm going to go in with this Jack Lamore Fee the Vault. This is like the red one or something. And I'm going to go in with this maroon shade and just further smoke out this bottom line, lash line. Okay, so I totally forgot that I wanted to fix this brow still. So I'm going in with the Elf Earth and Oceans palette. And I'm going to take this brown shade right here in the corner. And I'm just going to use that to fill in the spots in my brow that needed to be filled in. Okay, so I took a brush that had nothing on it to blend out the purple. So now I'm going in with this Urban Decay Beauty with an Edge um, eyeshadow palette. And I'm taking this champagne color and I'm putting it on my brow bone on this side. Now for our last palette, I'm taking this Man Eater purplish red shade in this Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition. And I'm just going to put that under my eye as if we don't have enough red and maroon shades going on. I seriously just look like I have a black eye at this point. A red eye, just so I got punched in the face. But now I'm going to go in and put on some lashes and put on a lip. Okay guys, so this is what the finished look looks like. This is what all 34 eyeshadow palettes look like on my face. Um, so I just went in with the Anastasia Liquid Lip in the shade Stripped and the Dust of Colors Lip Gloss in Barely There. And I put on these lashes from Dodo Lashes and these are in the style F-Boy. I'll leave a clip of an up close look of the eyes. I also drew a white line on this eye with the NYX Liquid Eyeliner. I can't find it but it's in the shade White. Um, but yeah, this is what the finished look looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It definitely was a challenge. Uh, if you liked watching today's video, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, click that bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.